Hello, Peggy O'Neill here. It's so good to be with you today for our Facebook Live Learning. And today we're talking about uh, the possibility of an embodied thank you. And again, welcome. So our uh, Facebook group is answering the call. And uh, really answering the call is a twofold call. One is to answer the call to know our essential nature, to know who we truly are. Any longing that we're feeling in our heart or, or, or in some sense that there's something else for my life or for the world for that matter. That longing is our invitation. It's, an, it's a call and it's asking us to answer it. And then the second part is once we know our essential nature, which is uh, uh, an expression of source, um, love, uh, God's infinite being is a religious name, spirit, awareness, consciousness, all various names for the same source. And once we know that that's our essential nature, then the second component of that call is then to know, so what's my unique expression of source? And so here in uh, our community, that's what we're always exploring. And today specifically, What's the possibility of embodying thank you? And I'll talk more about that in a minute, but as we get started, if you're here, hey, Sharon, good. So if you're here live, please say hi, just like Sharon did. And um, if you're watching us on replay, please uh, put hashtag replay. I love knowing that, that you were here. And anytime, ask any questions, make comments, and we'll have a, a conversation via comments. So uh, I welcome the comments and, and your interaction. And as we uh, begin, let's give ourselves the opportunity to arrive. So if you're watching this on replay or right now, you, know, you probably just did, we're doing something else, maybe even looking around on Facebook and, um, and then get here and to allow ourselves just a minute, maybe two, to, um, to be fully present with where we are right now is really a gift for ourselves, a gift for our being to allow ourselves to fully arrive, our emotions, our body, our energy, because that's what we are is energy. So we can, our energy, our emotions, our thoughts can still be where we were 30 seconds ago. So to give ourselves that permission, that care for our being to let's be fully present now. And of course, in the leadership world, this is a big conversation for being an effective leader, to be fully present, or with any relationship, really, to be fully present. So that's part of it that we can engage in right now, allowing ourselves to fully arrive. And I'll just pause for a few seconds to allow us to do that. Okay, now we'll begin. So again, we're gonna explore the possibility of embodied thank you. So what I mean by embodied is that it's so much a part of our body, our being, that it's natural. Like we can just talk. You know, we don't have to think about it, we don't have to practice it, we don't have to, um, you know, uh, do anything to, to, to talk except talk. Uh, so it's that sort of thing, just that, that that it becomes a second nature that we don't even have to to talk about or think, I mean, to think about or to try to get ourselves to remember. So, um, so for years, I've seen the quote from Meister Eckhart that is, um, the, the exact quote is, if the only prayer you say in your entire life is thank you, it will be enough. And I, Occasionally, I've said, you know, thank you, and, uh, but recently I, I thought, why don't I take that to heart? There are lots of, uh, and Meister Eckhart is a Christian mystic, a philosopher, uh, was, I mean, he's not alive now, uh, and there are all kinds of um, mystics or, um, uh, what would I call them? Um, people sincere about living their essential nature all the time that use things like 
mantras. It could be a one word mantra or a phrase is a mantra to, to help them stay present and in the being that they want to be in. Uh, and I don't know the why they would do it, but what I can uh, make up about why to do it based on my own experience is that, of course, our thoughts and emotions want to take us and do take us all over the place. So if we focus on a, a phrase, a word, a mantra um, our, ourselves, then it gives us the opportunity to focus our attention where we really want to focus it, not all over the place where our thoughts and emotions want to take us. So occasionally I'll take on mantras, and I'll be honest, I have not been fully consistent, but, um, but I, this one I uh, plan to stick with, um, although I'm having to remind myself again today because I've, I've let myself be distracted with other things. But uh, the, so, the, so the idea behind the conversation that we're having today is what I just said. It's an opportunity for us to focus on something uh, well, it could be a word, love, or, or a mantra, like I said. And also, um, Michael uh, uh, Singer, that wrote the book, The, um, uh, uh, the Surrender Experiment, and then another book, and then his most recent book is, the, uh, is Untethered Living. He mentions it as well in that book as a way, again, for us to, to be able to embody experience in an ongoing way what it is we really want to experience. So for me, that experience of thank you. Um, and you notice I'm not using the word gratitude uh, specifically. Um, to me, there's a distinction there. Um, so so I wanna, I'm going to focus on thank you. And you may not experience a distinction uh, for yourself, but for me, it is actually the focus of thank you. And as I uh, worked with it, have been, have been working with it, being with it, it uh, and, and say it in some form of mantra form, thank you, thank you. I say it silently to myself, although sometimes when I'm walking, I'll say it out loud as well. And it's not thank you for something, like there's a separate object to be thankful for, because as we know here, we're one being, we are all source made of the same stuff, um, arising out of the one being, consciousness, the one being, or we can call it consciousness source. And, um, and so there's not something separate to be thankful for. It's, so to me, it is just thank you. So in, in a, a profound way, but just those words, thank you. And, uh, or you could add a word, thank you tree, now it sounds funny, but but in my but as I have been engaging with this mantra when I first started and said thank you for this tree, thank you for this tree, it, it, again I felt a separation. And as I moved into thank you tree, thank you tree, there was a totally different relationship that occurred for me. And after a while, and it was a pretty short while actually, like within minutes, I felt a communion with nature. Or I saw a person walking a dog, I said thank you to the person. I mean, you know, I'm focusing on the person, just said thank you. And, and focused on the dog, thank you, dog, thank you, person. Um, and so this communion, uh, the sense of oneness, arose within me by engaging with this mantra in this way. And then on top of that, the feeling quality of thank you. You know, when we're really feeling thank you, like right now as I say that, I can feel it in my, it's not even really in my heart, it's in my, um, more in the um, solar plexus area for me right this minute. And so there's just this sense of thank you. And then my body feels peaceful. There's just a sense of security that goes with that. I don't know why I can't, and that's my experience, but this sense of security and this peace and again, the communion. Um, let's see. And why don't you right now silently to yourself say the words thank you and say it at your own pace. I would encourage you not to say it, which I started out doing 
thank you, thank you, thank you. I can realize what I was doing though. No, uh, no. And so, uh, so I slowed it down. Thank you. Thank you. So right now, why don't you say it to yourself and see uh, a few times and see, um, just notice the experience. So if you, if there's anything to share, we'd love to hear what the experience was like for you. Uh, and of course, first time you do it and being on a, in a session like this, you know, uh, might, might take actually, you know, being with yourself in another circumstance than being on the spot here. But, um, um, but you might have had a sense of the possibility of, of being with this mantra. Um, so, oh. And so, as I mentioned, for me, um, my experience was a sense of communion and, and what arose with that, not surprisingly, is that sense of, secure, of security because if we're, we are one with everything, but we've been very conditioned to believe that we're separate. So that can diminish our sense of security because if I'm separate, then there's some sense of being alone, having to take care of myself, which of course we want to take care of ourselves, but I mean in the sense that um, that um, uh, that often we don't really feel that strong sense of community, that, that we're all there for each other, and, um, and, and yet that sense arose in me as I uh, said thank you, that the sense of actual being one with everything, so that security uh, I felt that sense because of that sense of knowing fully I'm everything and the sense of belonging that went with that. Um, so that is what I have to say today about that. So are there any questions, comments? Obviously it's, it's just a very simple uh, prayer, if you will, is what Meister Eckhart said. And, um, but a very profound and powerful possibility for our lives. I mean, imagine, imagine if we were all uh, throughout the day experiencing and saying thank you to ourselves uh, in all experiences, in all situations. Then what happens as we be whatever it is, so be this experience of thank you, or be love and we stick with that then the world starts reflecting that in a couple of ways one is when we're experiencing love i mean you've probably been in love before and you might remember that when you were really in first in love and oh everything was excuse me shiny and beautiful and nothing could go wrong right that sense of like oh wow this is the greatest thing and then, of course something starts happening Maybe there's some uh, blips in the road with the relationship, and then that goes away uh, to some extent. But the more that we can bring ourselves back to thank you or love and be in that experience, then just as when we first fell in love, well, the world will start appearing in our experience more like that, like that aligns with thank you. So besides our experience of what what um, is going on right now that doesn't seem to be any different than it was yesterday, then things also will start appearing in our lives or coming to us in our lives that align with the energy, the emotion that we're uh, sending out into the world. We're actually magnetic beings. So whatever energy, emotion that we're sending out to source, sending out, in the energetic field is what will come to us will be reflected to us and then we'll actually see because that's our experience so all right i hope all that made sense any any comments any questions i don't see any but i'll pause for just a second to see if any show up and um Okay, well thank you, thank you.
Thank you for being here. And thank you. Oh, next week. Next week, we're going to meet uh, together on a different day. I have a conflict uh, on Thursday. So it will be a different day. It's going to be Wednesday, probably 3 o'clock Central. So just uh, note to self, it's going to be a different day, different time. And thank you so much for being here today.